Hey everyone, um, here with uh, just kind of like an interlude video on this day. I've been getting a, a, a decent amount of comments saying, hey, can you share the source code? Is there anywhere I can find the source code? Um, I, I don't really like sharing source code. Um, it encourages too much copying and pasting. And I think that when you're le learning how to code something, it's important to understand the concepts. And so what I try to do in these videos and in this video series is explain all those concepts as I'm writing the code. And I also like to see how that code is built up from the ground, right? We started this as with no real libraries we're using inside the Pi game, and we built all this up ourselves. And so I like to see the logic of how you might build that up and how you might build a, a bigger project from scratch. Um, and so I, I really don't like to share the source code. Um, the other the other reason why is a lot of um, newer coders struggle with syntax. Um, you, you might miss a comma here or there. You might miss a parenthesis here or there. And just typing code and getting in the habit of debugging that type of stuff will make you a much better coder if you type it all yourself as opposed to copying and pasting it. Um, generally speaking, I you know, I, I try never to copy and paste code, even even if I'm writing something and I find something on Stack Overflow. Um, I like to look at that code and then implement it myself. Um, so, you know, I'd encourage you to do that, do that yourself. You'll you'll get you'll become a much better programmer much faster that way. Um, what I did want to do in this video is just go through the code here. Um, I'm not going to explain it or talk through it, but I, I've increased the font size and and just I'm going to scroll through the code so you can pause at any point in time and just you know verify that your code's correct if you're running into issues. So here's our main file. Scroll down to the main function here. Make sure you have all these variables set beforehand. Then we'll have our running. Our mouse button here, our key press, and then the rest of the main here. Got highlight squares, draw game state, draw board, draw pieces, animate move. and then draw text. So that's our main function. And then our engine, we start with our constructor. Initialize some of our fields. Here's our make move function. Now, if you have a bug specific to a certain thing, like say you implement it on Poisson and it's not working, you're implemented upon promotion, it's not working. Try to make sure you check the piece of code. That's where I would start. Check the piece of code that's, you know, has the comment for for pawn promotion or something like that. All right. There's our ensemble move, our castle move, and our cat. Undo move. Same thing. You want to check both move and, and undo. And then update castle rights, get valid moves. And then here's another thing to check. If you if castling's not working, make sure you have uh, temp castle rights here and current castle rights down here. And if ampassant's not working, make sure you have temp ampassant possible here and there. So make sure you didn't forget to add those in. All right. Here's the first part of the moves. Scroll down, bottom part of it. In check, square under attack, get all possible moves. And then here I'll just scroll through the moves pretty fast. So I think I already went through these ones, but pawn move, white and then black. I'll take this comment out because we did add pawn promotions in. Uh, rook moves. I had someone ask a question of doesn't this break? make it so if you run into a piece it won't check the other directions and uh just to explain what the break does it it breaks out of the of the innermost loop 
So it's going to break out of this for loop, but not this for loop. So as we're going in the up direction, if we run into a piece and we hit break, then it will stop looking in the up direction, but it will still continue in the left direction next. So that's why these, these functions work. Night move. Bishop moves. Uh, and then queen and king. And then here we have our castle moves, including king side and queen side castles. Our castling rights class, which we used to just help abstract that, help organize that a little bit better. And then our move class. We added a couple optional parameters here. And again, this is this is something that might cause en passant to not work if you don't have that, or castling to not work if you don't have that. All right, and then our equals method and a few other things there. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. And um, you know, I, I, again, just reiterating um, why the kind of the reasons why I didn't I don't like to just copy and paste code. Um, I really think the more the more you type it out yourself, the faster you'll get at typing it out. Um, you'll be able to use the autocomplete feature a little bit better in your IDE. You'll just get more familiar with all these little things that will make you a better programmer. Um, so I do really encourage you to you know to go through the videos and and and, and type all the code out. And yeah. Um, as for the images, I will try to upload a zip file and attach it to the first video or attach a link to it. I'll probably put it on on Google Drive because I've been getting a lot of request for that so i'll share that um the ai videos will be coming uh i don't know if i'm gonna have time to do them today or this weekend but i will um do a few next week um so be on the lookout for those all right uh take care everyone